Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I received a video from Renee's mother's husband calling me names saying I don't know what I'm talking about basically but yet here is the news story from the New York Daily News that says right here that Philando Castile was stopped by cops in Minnesota 52 times in the past 14 years for a slew of misdemeanors not felonies misdemeanors that's the headline from uh, the New York Daily News now there are a lot of false news stories out there going around on the internet and uh, as soon as I find one I'm here right here for instance is a news story which is a false news story claiming that he was a uh, armed robber suspect well if you clearly look at this guy right here look at him look at him where is his beard that goes down this way like uh, cats, like uh, he does here. He has a beard right here. This guy doesn't have a beard. And thus he shaved it. And then it grew back just a few hours later. Wow, I never knew a man could grow a beard that quick. takes a day or two to start getting anything a lot of people think they're so bright but yet they're so stupid they call me names like stupid and idiot and but oh, I can't I, I don't see these little things these little things that that you know I, I can see these little things But they can't because all they want to do is, oh, here's a news story that he did this. So he had to be guilty. But yet, who cares about the news stories? Well, I got Fox News on. Who cares about what Fox News reports? Because let me tell you, Fox News does not report what CNN or MSNBC reports. Or the A or ABC, Fox News is. Well, they're also the ones that said that when this happened, that all he was, you know, convicted for in times, past times, was misdemeanors, misdemeanors, no felonies. So, um, you know, Renee's mother's husband. Where did you get the idea that he was a convicted sex offender? Excuse me, that's a felony. And I'm sure that the news media would all pick up on that. But you're not. Because you are spreading lies about a man you didn't even really know. But here's a truth for you. It's called uh, extortion. It's 
soon as I get to it. Extortion. You know what extortion is? Hmm? Hmm? But well, here's the Ohio Criminal Code Law Book. And I know you are probably want to take, uh, take my video and just, uh, you know, chop it up and do what you want to do with it. Because that's how kind of people you are. You don't like when the truth is stored back in your face. Extortion. And you know why I'm bringing that up? Because of the fact in the last video I did this fake Robert McKim which I know is also aka Christian Weston Chandler give me five hundred dollars and I will take down the website and channel also renounce Jesus Christ as your savior is really a good deal if you think about it I accept PayPal let me know have a blessed day yeah right you know what that's called extortion that's called you're trying to extort money out of me for you to do the right thing and for me to renounce Jesus Christ, I will never renounce Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. So you go and set on it. And spin. And you're not getting a red penny from me. Because it's called extortion. Come tomorrow, I'm contacting the deputy sheriff. And I copied this off, so if you think you can, you know, go and remove it, I still have evidence. Especially with this video. Extortion is a crime. It's a felony. And I'm contacting the prosecutor where you live at and telling that prosecutor you have committed a felony here in Ohio. Yes, it might be through the internet, but it's still extortion. No, when you, you people, when, when you think you can say whatever you want to say, but when you demand money from somebody even on public internet it's still extortion it's like an email is the way I look at it you're sending a private message on my YouTube video therefore it's just like an email to me if they don't want to look at it that way then that goes to show how stupid a lot of the prosecutors are I know somebody out there will agree with me. And somebody else said something else here too, but I don't know. People are so, you know, thinking so full of themselves. Well, anyhow, long story short, there's a lot of people that are a bunch of smart, but they don't know really what they're talking about. I got told a friend on uh, my Facebook site, and I think she took down that one site that uh, she was getting uh, one post that is that she was getting a news story from from uh, Mad World News she got this news story uh, about the uh,
And it also said the same thing as the other right here okay something else here good grief <laughs> they're trying to say that the, that, that guy's girlfriend exposed see her Lies, child abuse, and scams. See what kind of lies that these uh, new false news stories are constantly saying about people. That girl doesn't even look anything like uh, that girl there. And that woman doesn't even look anything about, like that woman. For one thing, that girl's a little girl, not a big girl, so how can a, she even hold a bottle? I mean, come on now. I think it's time that uh, we wake up and realize that people just like running with stories and saying whatever they want to say no matter how hurtful and hateful it is you see my bible tells me in matthew 24 12 in the last days lawlessness will abound and the love of many will grow cold and that is what is happening the love of many is growing cold because lawlessness is abounding everywhere we look. We have LGBTs thinking they have more rights than Christians do. Non-Christians, um, atheists and agnostics thinking they have more rights than Christians. Well, one way or another, sooner or later, we're going to have to either wake up before it's too late or else. Sooner or later, we'll find out who's telling the truth. Because Jesus Christ is coming back again. First in the sky, and he sends out his angels to collect the dead in Christ first and those that are left alive to have their name written in the Lamb's Book of Life will be caught up with him. And we'll be enjoying the marriage supper of the Lamb. So no matter how much you can say he's not coming back, he's coming back. Because hey, it, was set, it was told in the Word that there will be people saying, where is that promise of him not coming? Where is that promise of him saying he's coming back? He's not here yet. It was written that this will happen. So if it was written back then, it will happen. That this, that people will do this today. That tells me, proves to me more and more that he's coming back. So you keep proving every single day. Well, your disbelief that the Bible, the Word of God, and Jesus Christ is true. And what I experienced is true. See, uh, Fox News talking about, you know, what's been going on. I listen to Fox News. And I listen to the truth on the internet. I just don't pick up a story 
and then say, oh, okay, that's got to be true. No. I look at the picture, and I can see clearly it's not him. But yet. Oh, well. God bless you. Have a blessed day.